Ever since I bought my first computer in the 1980s, the internet has fascinated me. Fortunately, I had a friend who understood it far better than I. He was a contemporary of Mark Cuban's back then, and he had the knack of being able to explain it in simple terms. So when I saw a reference to the new 10G networks on TV, it sparked my curiosity. My friend had told me the ability to deliver at that speed had existed for a long time. He opined the only thing that kept it from being used was users were not ready for it. Well, guess what? It's here. And while the 5 in 5G stands for fifth generation technology with delivery speeds maxing out at one gigabyte per second, 10G stands for 10 gigabytes per second. That's not twice as fast, that's 10 times as fast. What does all this have to do with you in real estate? I'll let you decide, but here's what I see. Every futurist associated with real estate sees continued consolidation in the MLS space. This is evidenced by two recent announcements. One is the real estate data sharing agreement between three very large MLSs that links the East Coast, the West Coast, and Florida. The second announcement is that this largest commercial MLS in the country is buying up residential information platforms, generating speculation that it will build a national MLS using their successful experience as a national commercial MLS provider to do so. This leads to the next issue. Small MLSs, by comparison anyway, are going to struggle to keep up with the rapid enhancements in technology over the next few years unless they can either achieve larger economies of scale through consolidation or get users to pay higher fees. Listings for buyers to select from, however, shows a very healthy increase of over 22%. For sellers, the absorption rate of over 30% through the first half of the month indicates they are well positioned and should be able to sell and move on to the next phase of their life, whatever that might be. By the way, that absorption rate also suggests homes are not going to be less expensive, so buyers should buy now. Events, programs, and classes. March starts out with a broker owner meeting on the first with happy hour on the second at the Cabbage Patch Saloon in Gross Point Park. March 8th is a class on appraisals. The 10th is the round table at the board office. The 16th is morning coffee at Coffee Break Cafe in East Point. The evening of the 21st, join the Young Professionals Network at Great Shots in Clinton Township. That morning of the 21st is the MISTA class. The 23rd, the Harper Woods Gross Point Chapter is having its annual meeting and luncheon at Gross Point Woods Community Center. March 29th, your Macomb County Chapter has its annual meeting and breakfast at the Italian American Cultural Center. And while there's loads of stuff scheduled for April, I'm going to stop here so I don't overstay my welcome. So until next week, be productive, successful, and profitable, and as always, stay safe.